Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Danielle and in today's video, honey, we are just going to be talking about good old life. I feel like we haven't really gotten the chance to talk about life on my channel since about December when I did my vision board video. Remember the one that you watched and liked and commented on? that one okay so i am just excited to just catch y'all up on where i've been on some of my goals the progress that i'm making and also what i plan to do for the latter half of this year so without further ado boo let's get into it probably the biggest change from december until now is that your girl got a job y'all like i am out here fully and gainfully employed in these streets and it's beautiful it's a beautiful feeling and let me tell you god was really gotten on this one right because not only do i get to work from home full time well most of the time but i also get to be very creative on this job which i was never really anticipating because i thought it was going to be like strictly more like administrative work and logistical stuff like that but y'all y'all get this okay so the other day my bosses, they got me an Adobe Creative Cloud account with all the apps, all of them. Not one of them, not two of them, not 35 of them, all of them. Oh, and another thing, let me just, let me brag on my God real quick because this is how good he is, okay? So I didn't have a job for a whole year. I lost my job, my original job in March, 2020 due to the panorama. And then I didn't get a new one until March, 2021. Because it was a full year, it gave me a lot of time to start thinking about what I was looking for in terms of benefits and in terms of like a salary. With benefits, I was just like, I want the best benefits possible, like I knew that my 401k and retirement saving was something that was like really important to me so I was going to be paying close attention to that and other than that when it came to salary I was like okay I feel like I'm still pretty new to the workforce I'm still fresh out of college and so I kind of had an idea of a salary in my head that I thought that I was worth and I mean it wasn't a lot of money but I had just kind of like come to accept it all that to say that this job completely surpassed every single like standard that I had set for myself and that I thought was acceptable. The benefits that I had in my mind that I was going to be able to achieve, like nothing compared to some of the benefits that I was able to get, especially when it came to retirement, which I'm just like super excited about. Also, for salary, I am making thousands of dollars more than I ever thought that I was going to be able to make at this point in time. If you're anything like me and you are struggling to figure out where your next job opportunity is going to come from, I really just encourage you to put all of your trust and confidence in God and just patiently wait it out. Because when I tell you that like he perfectly crafted and tailor made this job just for me, like it's actually insane to think of all the like little details and stuff that are so fit for me and my personality and where I feel like I'm headed career-wise career in the future. <gasps> where did this muddy princess metal come from? And who put these muddy princess sunglasses on me? All I know is that I just so happened to run the Muddy Princess race in March, and there also just so happens to be a YouTube video documenting one of the greatest accomplishments of my life. But you know, how this Muddy Princess medal and these glasses got on me, it's really, it's, it's slow key unbeknownst to me, but you know, let's just, let's move forward from there because it's an unsolved mystery. Another big goal that I had set for myself for this year is to focus on strengthening and toning my arms. I started strength training in January and you know, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like your girl is on her way to seeing those Michelle Obama slash Angela Bassett arms, you know what I mean? I can tell that I am a lot stronger, not only in my arms, but just throughout my entire body. And I feel like I'm definitely leaner as well. I am learning that this whole process of like strength training and sculpting your body it's definitely more of like a crock pot meal you know that you let you let sit for some hours and simmer as compared to like a tv dinner that you just like pop into the microwave and you see results in like two three minutes tops so it's definitely taking a lot more time and effort than i think i probably originally anticipated like i knew it was going to be work but 
I also didn't know if that makes sense. And another thing that I'm realizing is just how much nutrition plays into actually building like that muscle into and into becoming more lean. So I'm working on becoming a little bit more disciplined in terms of what I'm eating and just finding ways to adjust my diet so that I could build that, that muscle, you know what I mean? Cause I'm trying to become a lean, mean machine. And that was corny as heck, so we should just move on before I continue to embarrass myself. <laughs> This next thing that I wanted to update y'all on is my journey to finding a church home. So luckily we have found success y'all. I finally have a place that I call my church home. It is called Faith Christian Center and we're located in Phoenix, Arizona. So if you are in the Phoenix area and you're looking for a church to go to, I 10 out of 10 recommend. And much like my job, I really do feel God's intentionality in leading me to this church because it really is like perfect for me and the phase of life that I'm in. So for example, the month of June at our church is health month. So during that month, you know, of course they want to help us grow spiritually, but they also want to focus on helping us grow in our physical health and our financial health. And what was really cool is that the pastor shared with us that a while back, he got a message from God that about 60, 65% of the congregation would be called into business and entrepreneurship. Spoiler alert, I consider myself part of that statistic. So to be able able to hear from like a panel of people who are Christians and who are also successful in business but doing it with integrity and doing it with excellence and in the kingdom way it was just it was amazing and it was something that I've never experienced before in a church setting also as I mentioned before you know I'm currently working on my fitness so the fact that they value that and that they don't only want to make sure that we're growing spiritually but also like physically and that we're taking care of our temples like that's a big deal and it was just really dope because every week they would have like these virtual workout sessions that you could follow along and join i feel like the church always says you know you're supposed to honor god in every area of your life which is clearly very important but they don't always tell you how to practically do that and how to walk that out in everyday life and so the fact that this church actually does does that and actually shows us okay like this is what it looks like to honor God with your body this is what it looks like to honor God with your business with your finances so on and so forth it's it's something that's really important and it's something that um, I really hope that more churches can do all in all like I said I feel like this church is perfecto for me and going into the second half of this year I'm definitely very eager to start serving to join a ministry that I can volunteer in and also to join a small group I'm super excited to start meeting some friends friends because child I ain't got no friends at least here in Phoenix I don't have any friends and speaking of friends can we can we just linger on that for a second because one this was something that was on my vision board like I wanted to start making friends but two why does no one talk about how hard it is to make friends as an adult like why is that why do we not share that with people because it's very difficult and it's one of the most ghetto parts about adulting that I've experienced thus far Actually, mostly everything is. Never in my 24 years on this earth did I ever imagine that it would be so difficult for me to meet a friend, to make a friend. Like, what? And okay, actually, I guess I'm not giving the full story because I also, I'm a very like shy and introverted person naturally, believe it or not. And so I guess, I guess I have imagined before that it would be difficult to make friends because it often has been in, in the past, but that's in the past. We're not talking about that. So if you just so happen to be a young adult in the Phoenix area and you need another person that is also young and fun to hang out with, like definitely hit me up. Like we can hang out, you know, we can do stuff. Like make sure it's appropriate though. You know, I'm not trying to do like some, some weird stuff. I'm just trying to just trying to be friends, so let me know. The last thing that I wanna share with you and update you guys on is where I am with my side hustles, if you will. If you remember watching my vision board video, then you know that I hinted at a little project that me and one of my best friends is working on. And at the time, I couldn't tell you what it was because, you know, we were still working on it. It was kind of secretive. But it has now come out and I'm very happy to say that my best friend Ashley and I have released our very own podcast. What? Meow, 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 meow. The name of the 
podcast is It's Not You, It's Me, and it's really just all about learning how to take self-accountability and be more self-aware in our relationships, whether that be our friendships, platonic relationships, familial relationships, romantic relationships, like literally whatever it may be. I'll be sure to link it in the description box below. If you're someone that, you know, for whatever reason you like hearing my voice and hearing what I have to say, definitely feel free to hop over there and check it out. I'm sure you'll love my friend Ashley as well. We are like two peas in a pod. We are very similar yet very different at the same time and I think we complement each other very well. And of course, my last side hustle that I currently have is YouTube. So we have experienced quite a bit of growth in the past couple of months. Right now, we're currently around, I think, 320 subscribers, something like that. And I'm not gonna lie, I do think that December Danielle thought that present Danielle would have way more subscribers by now because if you remember, my goal for the end of the year was to have 10K subscribers for this channel, but if I'm being honest, I truly do feel very content with where God has me and just with the pace that he's allowed this channel to grow. Like for me, what's ultimately the most important thing is not the amount of views, not the subscribers, but that I really am being intentional about the content that I'm creating and that it really is representing God in the best way and that it's pleasing to him above all else, like period. Okay, y'all, that's it. That is what is currently going on in my life. And I feel like I have shared quite a bit and now it's y'all's turn. Like this gotta be reciprocated, okay? This ain't about to be no unrequited love or relationship or anything like that. So make sure you drop down in the comment section below and let me know like what's going on with you. How's your life going? Let me know if you have any goals that you wanna achieve by the end of 2021. And if there's anything that you want prayer on that you're going through in life, like feel free to comment that below as well or you can DM me and I'd love to talk to you that way. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, if you are not subscribed to my channel and you be watching all my videos, like sis, bro, I'm, I'm gonna need you to change that today. Like make that decision, click that button. It'll do you good, okay? Until next time, bye.